Hello, my divinities. Welcome, welcome. So as we prepare our little space here, I want to say thank you to everybody who's taken the time to subscribe to my Patreon or my Facebook subscription. You guys are the MVPs. That is my main source of income. So of course, I am very appreciative. Um, but I'm also grateful to everybody. I'm sorry, I was watching the candle. <laughs> I'm also grateful to everybody who's taken the time to either comment, share, react, um, send stars. Those of you who are making sure to follow either my Facebook page or my YouTube channel. All of those things genuinely make an impact on my business and my life. And so I'm grateful for all of those things. That being said, let's go ahead and look into what's the energy for today. Today felt mermaidy, So we're using the mermaid oracle and um, the oracle of the mermaids and the mermaid tarot along with the witch's tarot. But if you forget which deck I'm using, it's always in the description box down below. What's the energy for today? And careful, careful with those scammers. If somebody's reaching out and trying to talk to you through DMs, it is not me. Oh, oh, okay. Both of the energies that showed up, even though the cards are very different, number four, number 33, they are very dark. So I'm actually not going to read them because I already know what they talk about. This is just about things that you don't see. Too much is hidden from you. And this one actually is dealing with manipulation. The arrogance people carry when they do things that hurt others. Let's see. Tell me about today's collective. Tell me about today's collective. We start with the Queen of Swords. Tell me about today's collective. Wow. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups. Um, depending on the rest of the cards, this might be a continuation of the last one. The Empress. King of Pentacles. Yeah, I think this might be a cut. Oh, yeah. Justice card. Mm -hmm. It most certainly is. Hold on. This card is about to come out. Was it this one? No, this one, because I nearly folded it. Seven of Wands. Five of Swords. I knew it. Page of Wands. King of Wands. Hmm. The Seven of Swords is the overall energy, followed by the Lovers, Nine of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, this is a continuation, but I think the other collective was very much, it did. It focused a lot on how the king felt, and I think this one is the opposite. This one, we're going to focus on the queen. Um, what I think it is interesting here is that both... At the bottom of the of the deck, the cards that were underneath the overall energy, as well as the other reading, we kept seeing the queen trying to still hold on to this king, even though her interest is clearly elsewhere. That might be why the Seven of Swords is present, because I don't think this queen is being honest with herself, even. Now, I do think that the emperor showed up in the last collective and that's her husband. Now she's showing up as an empress, but with the energy that's coming out, I don't think she's a bad person. I just think she's going through a bad moment. Let's put it that way. Um, with the unseen, I don't think she's... I don't think she's being honest with herself. I don't think she's very self-aware. Let's put it that way. I don't think she's a bad person, but I think she's lacking self-awareness. Um, because I have a feeling this empress, which is Gemaya, by the way, this empress is showing up with a belly. You see that? So I have a feeling there's, there's a potential that this queen is being manipulative, forcing 
forcing things to happen the way she wants them to happen. And since her current mindset is, I want to reconcile with this king, she may be trying to create a pregnancy to make that happen. While the king is more like, no, no, we are getting a divorce. Um, because they can't get over... It. Now, I, I said... In the other collective, I said that the queen might have not ha been over an ex. But, you know, it might have been a betrayal. It might have been she had a full-blown affair. And that's why the king is like, we can't come back from that. Which is understandable. I'm that type of person. <laughs> yeah, once there's certain things done, yeah, we can't. I mean, I forgive you, but that doesn't mean we can come back from it. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. Let's see. Tell me about the Seven of Swords. We've got the Hanged Man, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Hmm. So part of the manipulation being, being used here from the Queen. And it, I feel like she's, she's swinging back and forth between being the maternal. Like she has a lot of feminine energy right because she's showing up as the empress but i feel like she swings back and forth between being the nurturing soft feminine and then being the manipulative uh harsh guilt trippy energy oh, the lovers king of cups two of oh okay so the king is now in the energy of we were a karmic we were a karmic couple this was not true love and we both denied it or we both um didn't see it but now they feel like they see things very clearly the thing is the queen disagrees and what she's trying to do is she's trying to put them in this energy of remember when remember when y'all know that song from alan jackson i think it is remember when <laughs> i'm gonna look it up that one i am gonna look up alan jackson I think it is. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, so the way it goes says, Remember when I was young and so were you, and time stood still and love was all we knew. You were the first, so was I. We made love and then you cried. Remember when? Remember when we vowed the vows and walked the walk, gave our hearts, made the start, and it was hard. We lived and learned life through curves. There was joy, there was hurt. Remember when? Remember when old ones died and new, new, new were born and life was changed, disassembled, rearranged. We came together, fell apart, and broke each other's hearts. Remember when. Remember when the sound of little feet was the music we danced to week to week, brought back the love, we found trust, vowed we'd never give it up. Remember when 30 seemed so old, now looking back is just a stepping stone to where we are, where we've been, said we'd do it all again. Remember when we said we turn when we turned gray, when the children grow up and move away, we won't be sad, we'll be glad for all the life we had, and we'll remember when. Mm. Yeah, that's what I feel like this queen is trying to do. Like, remember when we got married, remember our honeymoon, everything possible she can think of to remind them of their past. She's trying to get them to see things from a different perspective. But they do see things from a different perspective. I think in the past this would have worked. Now, interestingly enough, we're clarifying the Seven of Swords, so I don't think the king is being very vocal. If you notice, they're not showing up as a king of swords. I don't think the king is being very vocal. I think they're just letting her talk. But in their mind, they do remember, but they remember everything. They also remember this motherfucker here. So with the Six of Pentacles, they're just letting the queen talk. They're not, they're also not being very honest because maybe they told her something like, well, it depends. I'll see. When in reality, they're already preparing documents. They're, they're preparing everything. This is not... They have different reasons for being unclear. This queen is being manipulative. Well, this king is keeping things to himself because he feels like this person's not reasoning. They're, they're, they want things their way, which in a way is understandable. Let's see. I'll tell you about the queen of swords. King of Swords. Oh, so they already tried to be vocal. Let's see. I forgot the candle. <sighs> Talking about the Queen of Swords. Three of Cups, the Sun, Ace of Swords. Hmm. 
Okay. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, the Emperor. Wow. Oh, okay. Okay. So I think there was two things that happened. And in the other collective, I said the queen might have said something in anger. And now I'm seeing it more like an affair. I think both things happened. I think one of the things that she said in anger was that the only reason she was with this masculine is because she couldn't afford to live by herself. But if she could, she'd be with this person. And she might have said, that's why I had an affair on them with them. And so this king is like, let me help you out. Let me release you. So they already spoke their truth. That's why they're not speaking anymore. Because this, this is an emperor. And they're coming across like, I already said what I had to say. You already said what you had to say. You keep talking, I'm going to listen. But I already know that they're very firm. They're actually quite inflexible. Nothing is going to make them change their mind. Nothing. Because, oof, there was a lot said. So Three of Cups, they're not being mean about it, though. I think that they're still being very amicable. They're actually happy. I think this is one of the reasons they know this is the right decision, because they are so happy, which means that these two have not been happy together. Um, if happiness is their separation, then obviously their life together was not that happy. And they're realizing, like, this was just... This was a bad investment because this person just couldn't afford to live by themselves. And here I am, the provider, the whole time thinking that they're in love with me. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. We have the Hermit, the Death card. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Oh, that one reversed. Which one came out? Ooh, King of Pentacles reversed. No, 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 no. The Four of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Yeah. Okay, so no, the king is actually being very vocal. Very vocal. They don't want this anymore. They consider themselves single and they're communicating all of that. They are being very clear. They're not hiding anything. So the one that's hiding things is the queen. The one that's being manipulative. Because here she is. She is examining, well, this actually goes both ways. I think both people have really thought it through, whereas the queen changed her mind. She, she wants, she's like, you know what? I was wrong. I think you're the right person for me. But because we have the king of pentacles here, this tells me two different things. One, that she's saying that because she prefers status over passion. She prefers financial stability over passion. But this also means that the king himself, he's shown up several times as the king of pentacles, both in the other collective and this one, has been thinking things through. So they might have spent some time apart. And when they came back together, the queen was like, okay, I'm ready to reconcile. And this person's like, and I'm ready to get a divorce. I'm no longer loyal to you. King of pentacles reversed. They are no longer committed to this queen. They no longer consider themselves her partner. They're done. Talking about the Empress. We have the Star, Ace of Cups. Talking about the Empress. Page of Pentacles, Four of Swords. With the Four of Wands, the Fool, the Wheel of Fortune. I think... I'm not sure what type of marriage they, they had because it's not telling me that. It's just telling me what where they're at now. Um, but I do feel like the king considers this a foolish decision. The marriage was a fool. The relationship, the whole relationship, they feel was a foolish decision. They were impulsive. They did something without, without thinking it through. However, the universe is saying, no, this was supposed to happen. They, especially with the Page of Pentacles here, they were supposed to learn lessons from each other. The death card is here because this connection has transformed both of them, whether they are aware of it right now or not. This was a healing energy. They were meant to come together because maybe for a long time, the queen had never been around someone who nurtured and protected her and cared for her, which is why she was so dead set on holding on to this person, even if 
they weren't in love with them. Maybe that was meant to show her, hey, there's people out there that will genuinely care for you and protect you, fill your cup, you know, from their own. But it was still a lesson. It was meant to be healing. We have a lot of healing energy here. And maybe they had children together. Maybe this is the mother of their children. And so they, it's not like they're disrespecting her. I don't see them being ugly to her. I don't see them being nasty or... So if you have an ex that's like that, this is not your story. Because this king is being very gentle. They are like gently pushing her away. Even if she tries, like that's the mental image I'm getting. Like she's trying to wrap her arms around them. They're just like, look, I'm, I'm not. I'm not trying to hurt you. But I'm just telling you, this isn't, no, we're not going to do this anymore. Hmm. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Wow, that, hold on. <laughs> At least it stayed on the desk. The Chariot, tell me about the King of Pentacles. The Emperor Reverse, tell me about the King of Pentacles. Hmm. Two of Pentacles, Knight of Wands, Ten of Cups. I think that this is a very difficult decision. Even if the, um, the Queen doesn't believe them, it is a difficult decision for them to walk away. With the Two of Pentacles, I think that they would go back and forth a lot, whether they should stay, whether they should make it work. There was still passion between these two. And so they were both like, look, let's just let's just act like this is wonderful. We love each other, right? I mean, it was an unspoken, let's put it that way. It was an unspoken agreement between them. Let's just let the passion carry the whole relationship. But now this person is, I don't think that this is negative. I just think that this is a mix because the two cards around them are upright and they're good cards. I think this person is forcing themselves to be like, I can't be the protector and the provider of this person because this is just damaging both of us. I have to, I have to be very strong-willed and let them figure out their own life. Because, you know, here I am marrying them, trying to take care of them. But in reality, I'm tired. That's what I'm getting. Even though the Ten of Wands didn't come out here. It's the energy I'm picking up. Now, with the Emperor reversed, maybe they were someone who was controlling. Maybe they were someone who was um, authoritative. And, and it could be, especially with these two next to them. Maybe they have, they have issues that they need to work out, maybe. And that could have contributed to the queen. I'm not, again, we're not excusing adultery, right? Or somebody cheating. But... Maybe that's her way of rationalizing why she fell out of love. So this person's like, look, I need to go figure myself out. I need to go heal. Being in this relationship, let me know which things I need to work on. And they're working on it. Or they plan to work on it. Talk about the Justice card. Four of Pentacles. Talk about the Justice card. You know what? I want to say one more thing. Because this is a collective, for some of you, this could be the mother of the children of this emperor. But for others, I feel like one of the lies that was told involves children. As in, maybe the affair they had with this person over here, they tried to pass off a child as the emperor's. Tell me about justice. There's that. There's that's also a potential. Uh, what I said about the child. That's also a potential reason why they're falling apart. Look at that. It's it's almost like the emperor is trying to reason with this person. Like, look, let's just call a spade a spade. You want this person. You have the opportunity for a whole new life. We just need to officially end this one. 
again, divorce with the Ten of Swords. Now, I feel like the Ace of Pentacles is twofold because I feel like the Empress wants a whole new start with this person. While they're telling her, no, you can go have a whole new start with this person, the one you want. It doesn't have to be me. Yeah, because see, both of these things, Strength card and Four of Pentacles, this came out in the other collective. It was whatever this queen was holding back. But interestingly enough, when she could hold back, it made her very combative. So everything that she was keeping to herself would make her very aggressive towards this king. And I think they took it for a, quite a while. They were very patient until they realized what was making her this combative, what was making her this angry. And then they're like, oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. The patience is done. Because maybe for some time they thought this was just part of her character or that she was just going through some hormonal upset or like they tried attributing it to, oh, we're fine. It'll be, it'll work out. And now they're like, no, no. Now I know what's behind that. Let's not do that. Talk about the seven of wands. Hmm. Before I look under these, let's look at these first. With the four of wands, I mean the seven of wands, we got the fool, the lovers, six of swords, nine of cups. You know, I feel like five of cups, the tower, five of swords. Yeah, this, this, the king is just done. So done. They're, they're working so hard to push gently because even here they're not attacking this person they're just creating a barrier like please don't pass they're setting up really strong boundaries to let this queen know like we're done i'm extremely disappointed i'm that was a shock but i'm glad it came out because now i know now i know they're ready to free themselves even if once upon time they did love this queen right now they're they're loving themselves. That's what they're focusing on, loving themselves. Even, and I'm not saying that they were the best version of themselves in this marriage either because they showed up with King of Pentacles reversed, Emperor reversed. But both people are learning a lesson from this. And now this king has some, there, there's something that they want to do. Um, I feel like they're going to be single for a while, but there's something that they're going to do because it's a dream come true. Maybe they always wanted to travel to a certain place or maybe they always wanted to pursue a certain career and they could never do it because they held this responsibility and now they're like, watch me, watch me. Talk about the Five of Swords. Get the Magician, the Three of Swords. Talk about the Five of Swords. King of Cups. Oof, guys. This just keeps getting worse. <laughs> Queen of Wands, Eight of Swords. See, ah, this keeps getting worse. It, it does. I'm sorry. I kind of feel bad for this king. Um, I don't even know him, but I feel bad because I feel like one of the things that was said to this king by the Empress was that the person they always loved was the King of Wands. That's their match. And that they just force themselves to be in this connection because this one was a better provider. This one was, maybe this one treated them better. This one was kinder. This one was sweeter. But they really broke this king's heart because now there's their, their perception about this queen has completely shifted. They're looking at them like you're a trickster. You're a liar. And you're also cruel. And you're manipulative. You, you were using me the whole time. Which again... They're not, um, oh, there's so many sayings in Spanish. I'm trying to translate one of them. Uh, there's a saying, no soy una perita en dulce o no soy monedita de oro. So it's, there's a saying that says, like, I'm not a golden coin. A golden coin as in uh, para caerle bien a todos. Uh, nobody will reject a golden coin, right? Everybody loves a golden coin. So that's the saying that came to mind. I'm not a golden coin, which means not everybody is going to like either one of these people. But when it came to the queen, they, they didn't really hold back. 
Now, keep in mind, because of the song, remember when it says we broke each other's heart and they showed up with the King of Pentacles reversed, it could be that maybe they have also been unfaithful and she kind of paid them back. I don't know. There, that's a possibility. Let's look at the page of wands. Seven of swords. Tell me about the page of wands. Ooh, five of swords. Hot damn. Jesus Christ. Three of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. I'm telling wow. Wow. <sighs> this is getting worse, guys. I don't even know what to I know what it's trying to say, but I just I'm trying to think how to word it. Um because this this means two different things to me. Either one, one of the things that spilled out was that for the past three years, she's had a connection with this King of Wands. Or part of what, you know, came flying out, this is Sagittarius Mercury, you talk about bluntness, um, is that they're planning to walk away eventually from the King of Pentacles to the King of Wands with time. You know what's really interesting about all this, though? Is that I think that just like they messed up the situation with this King of Pentacles, I think that they also messed up the situation with the King of Wands. I don't think either King wants them, because look at this. This is going towards the King of Wands, and look, they've also had the Seven of Swords, Five of Swords. So Seven of Swords, Five of Swords showed up with this King of Pentacles, but the Seven of Swords, Five of Swords is also showing up with the King of Wands. So, interestingly enough, this empress might have lost both opportunities. Because with the two of cups, the person that she loves is this person. But she might have treated... Okay, that might have been it. The empress might have treated this person like a fling. Because they were never going to walk away from this king. So it betrayed, that, that's exactly how affairs betray both people. Because one, it's letting this king know you're just, you know, you're just my ATM. While letting this king know you're just a dick to me. When in reality, this is the person she was in love with. But, oh, this is messy. Jesus. <laughs> this is so messy, guys. I'm so sorry. But life is messy, right? I can't really choose what, what stories come out. Tell me about the King of Wands. Why is the King of Wands here? Knight of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands. Ace of Wands. Tell me about the King of Wands. Eight of... Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Damn, this was, uh, <sighs> this empress is not a bad person because all the cards that keep coming up for her are upright, okay? I want to reiterate that. She's not a bad person. I think that she made multiple mistakes back to back with both people. Um, and one of the things that she might have done with this King of Wands is she hid the fact that she was married or she hid the fact that the reason she's staying with the king of pentacles because he's the one that's got the money but she didn't count with the fact that the king of wands is very intuitive they know even if she hides it they know so whatever she hid this person already knows however however they're allowing, they allowed for some time. They had a, a passionate connection with this queen. They allowed <sighs> why am I getting the energy like they allowed her to use them because they felt a lot of passion towards her. But it's almost like this is very assertive energy. It's Aries Mars energy. Two of Wands is Aries Mars energy. Whereas this is just Aries energy. So they might have seen it like a challenge. I know this sounds silly, but 
it's a king of wands and a knight of wands we're talking about so they might have they might have oh 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 guys that was it okay it just clicked when these two met when the empress and the king of wands met it started off just as a fling it was just a passionate little flirtation maybe just a fling it was just sexual but eventually this person grew up and this person was like no i want more and if you're not going to give me more, I'm gone. And they did. They left. And ironically, that's the person the Empress is in love with. But she also won't give them her love because she wants to be with this person. Because of the money. Oof. Oh, yeah, that was messy. <laughs> Anywho, um, maybe, remember, too much hidden from you. It could be that the King of Wands is watching this. Or the King of Pentacles is watching this. Or the Queen of Cups slash Queen of Swords slash Empress is watching this. And maybe she's the one that needs to realize what's actually going through her head and her heart. We'll see. That's what I got for you guys. Um, I'm not sure who needed to hear this, but the, hopefully it gave you some sort of clarity and guidance. Okay. As usual, I look forward to feedback and I will talk to you guys later. Bye bye.